this Xaled as a fellowship I got in 2019. It's called the Lead Fellowship and it's um, run by the Solution Journalism Network based in the US. So the whole essence is to promote the practice of solution journalism across the globe. And I was one of the few fellows who got it. And the whole essence is to, you know, help promote the fact that beyond the problems that we face, beyond all the issues, you know, the social problems that we have, there are people who are working really hard, you know, to find solutions to these problems. So that's the whole essence of solution journalism. And when you tell these stories, what they are doing at the end of the day is giving insights to other people who have similar problems. So, you know, solution journalism tries to amplify all of that. Those people who are really working hard, they are the people we call the positive deviants. And that's what inspired the team for this event. So today we are all the stories around, they are focused on telling stories of stories that empower women, stories that benefit women, or stories, solutions that also are led by women. At the end of the day, we are trying to amplify these stories to make sure that people get more insights, so people learn to see how others are solving their own problems. When you go through and look at all the photos here, you know, first of all, I think depending on the person, there are different takeaways, you know, they would, you would relate to them in different ways. But ultimately, I hope that, you know, people uh, going around, seeing the photos, asking questions would be inspired uh, to also do more for our society to address issues facing women. Uh, but the least that can happen is, you know, is that people will be much more informed about different issues that women are facing as a society. The photo exhibition is focused around solutions journalism. It's a solutions journalism um, photo exhibition focused on, you know, highlighting through photos what is working, some of the issues that um, Nigeria faces in different aspects. I like the fact that it's around very um, varied aspects of the country and how, how some organizations and some individuals are attempting to solve these problems. I'm most especially passionate about rural environments. Uh, if you look at most of my images here, uh, you see uh, the smiles on these people's faces and that's because um, someone has cared enough, someone has loved enough to be able to come there to document their lives. So this brings hope to them and it inspires them to do more, much more than they can do. For me, I'm most especially passionate about this because it gives me an opportunity to tell the world that there are people out there that need support. I mean, there's only enough that the government can do, there's only enough that um, NGOs can do, but we also personally, we can take on personal projects to go to these places and then help these people. So I'm here at the Positive Deviance exhibition and it has been awesome. I've never been to a photo exhibition before, I've been to art exhibitions and this is a uh, a bit different from an art exhibition because you could see the story that the pictures you know tell you and um, some of the pictures that are here the photos that are here resonates and I can relate to some of them the each picture tells um, a story and um, while you're going through all the pictures uh, the stories make sense as you go so it's been um, wonderful and um, hopefully we can have such experience again.